वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न वट स्ट्रिंग इंडेक्सिंग इज एंड इन टू दिस वीडियो विल सी वट स्ट्रिंग स्लाइसिंग इज सो आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर दैट वी यूज स्ट्रिंग इंडेक्सिंग हेयर ओके स्ट्रिंग इंडेक्सिंग वेन वी नीड टू प्रिंट अ सिंगल करेक्टर फ्रॉम अ स्ट्रिंग राइट एज वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ बट वी वॉन्ट टू डू इज वी वॉन्ट टू टेक pi from a string we take, we need to slice a pi from a string so what we what we can do is we can use string slicing methods mm, we'll I'll, i'll show you in this video how we'll uh, be able to slice a set of characters from a string so we'll be we'll be beginning this video with the same variable name which we have used in the previous video so let's say my variable name var consist of a string reserver right now what i want to do is i just want to print res that is res the first three letters of the uh, r uh, string res that is the first three letters of the string so uh, what the syntax for a uh, string slicing method is what we do is we just write a variable name or a string name and after the bracket in for a string indexing what we did was in this bracket what we did we just we just input the uh, string number string sorry string index in there but in this case we write the start argument and the stop argument inside the bracket start arguments means where we want to start our reserver where we want to start our index from and stop argument means where we want to stop our argument at you will get more clarity when i'll give you example so here we go let's say i want to print uh, res so i can write my variable name var and what i do is i write the start argument so what start argument here means that start arguments or I, i i can say start arguments or start index don't get confused between argument or index i i here means the same thing so my start index will be zero right because this r is at the zeroth position zeroth index it is at the first position but index of this uh, first position is zero so start uh, start index is zero and after we put this colon and then we write the stop argument so stop argument should be uh, the zeroth position here the first position second position s we want to get s printed right so what we'll do we'll write the index of this e here because this stop argument and the index of that e will be 0 1 2 3 it will be 3 right now this 3 will not get included inside this uh, is not included because our this will give me a input that is it will start from 0 go to 1 the go to second index and this third is not included here so third here third index will not be included so we can say that this stop argument is never included inside this this will give me res okay i haven't uh, executed this cell so this will give me the value of res correct what if what if i do let's say if i go for var and i go for 0 colon 2 so this time 2 is not being included the 2 index is not being included it means the s is not being included here this s is not being included and only it will print r e okay so our, our index is starting from 0 that is r and it is ending here at this one so this is not get printed here i hope you are uh, you are clear what i am saying here now we can also go for like i have said i have said here that you can write a variable name or a string name so i have written here variable name i can simply go for a string name as well let's say i write my string name here reservoir and then i write my here uh, square brackets and then i write 0 colon 3 it will give me the same result of res so we can use either our string name or a variable name whatever is more comfortable to us okay now let's say i want to print res erv i just want to take a slice of res erv what we'll do here is what we'll do here is so we know the index of v the index of v will be uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 so index of uh, will be 5 so we can go for 0 to 6 because 0 to 6 means it will print 0 to 5 6 is not included correct we are getting the correct result now let's say i want to go to print ir so reserve where v is 5 uh, 6 is 
i and 7 is r sorry 8 r r has the 8 index so variable what i can go for is 7 to 9 now 9 is not the index here but we don't want to stop uh, at 8 because this r is at 8th index right i want to get it printed so i'll have to write 9 there's no problem in that although 9 index is not there but because this 9 is not getting included so it will not create a problem for us so we are getting the ir there's one more easy method easy way to print this ir is that we if we want to go to end of any string okay if you go to what uh, if you want to print uh, a specific uh, slice which is starting from inside of the string somewhere but it is going up to the end what we can do here is we can write the stop argument and we don't need to write the uh, stop argument here we, we just write the start argument here that is 7 and we if we don't write the stop argument it will not give me an error it automatically python will understand what i am trying to do here is that i am starting from 7 and i'm i'm going to the end end of the string so it will also give me the value of ir correct similarly what we can do let's say what i do is right now i do is i'm not giving the start argument this time and i have given the uh, end argument that is at 3 so python will again automatically understand that it is starting from the starting point of the string and it will be ending at the second string because this 3 will not be get included so the second index 3 will not be getting included so it it will get me printed r e s correct uh, there's one more method of to print this ir what we can do is we can also go for an, in a reverse manner for example i'm just putting an extra code cell here variable so i have to write a start argument and a stop argument here correct okay i'll write it here so you'll understand it better here now so var now instead of 7 what i can give uh c7 will also be equal to minus 2 right as i told you in the previous video the seventh index here will also be equal to minus 2 index and from minus 2 index we are going to the ninth index so again i am getting uh, ir if you are getting confused let me write the whole thing here again right there see this r e s e r v o i r okay this is my string this is my string correct this r has the position of index of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 correct and these have also the position of this will be so this will be minus 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 3 and so on and so on this minus 3 is for o i okay, will write it here minus 3 and this is also minus 2 and this is minus 1 okay so this o is also minus 3 this i is also minus 2 this r is also minus 1 so similarly now in this case what we are doing is that our minus 2 is our starting point so we'll start from this i and from starting from this point it is going forward to the ninth index so it is going forward to the this way so it will select both i and r so that is why we are getting printed i and r again uh, as we what we did here is i i, I explained you that we need not try to uh, stop argument again and again so similarly we can also go for uh, instead of just 7 you can just input minus 2 and uh, there's no need to give the stop argument we will again get the same result this time that is ir because it is starting from minus 2 and going till the end of the string correct so uh, this is very basic things about uh, string slicing uh, if you are still confused in something 
just take your own example just make your own variable and just play with it just play with uh, whatever uh, whatever you want to get printed just play it and try try to print it by using different methods as i told you in the reverse order let is minus two minus one or in the forward manner whatever you know whatever you want to do just try and play with it you'll get a better understanding of string slicing now now i'll introduce you uh, to step argument what a step argument is so i have a variable name divyansh name uh, which consists the string that is divyansh my name when i told you when i told you that uh, what we write is here what we write variable name and after that we write start argument or start index and here we write stop argument or stop index so there's a another uh, argument here that is another value here that is step argument this step argument but this step argument is by default one what step argument is uh, what our step argument means is that uh, for, let's see to for example let's say i want to slice my string from uh, 0 to 4 so it will give me just a second it will give me it will give me divy so this by default the step argument is one what this step argument means is that after d it will go uh, one step ahead that is it will go to i and after that it will go one ahead step that it will go to y after that it will go to one step ahead that is uh, again uh, a y v and y okay but if i want to change this step argument let's say i just want to if i go for here now by default it is one for example let's say if i even if i add one here it will again give me same result because it is the default value but if i change it to two it means that it will now take two steps it means that after d it will go to y it will skip i so it will go to v it will skip i right now after v it should try it will be trying to go to a but our stop argument is at four when fourth argument that is fourth index is that is one zero one two three four a is not included right a is in the fourth index now this index is not included so it will not get printed here again let's take an example let's say uh, i go for name i want to go for zero from eight means uh, let's seven and i go for two okay so it's starting from zero it is going till seventh means seventh is not included seventh index is not included seventh index means here it is h the last letter of my word uh, and it but it will go from zero to seventh and zero to sixth index without printing seven it will go with a step of two so it starts from d it should skip y and then go to v then it will skip y and then go to a and then it will skip n and go to s so th that's why we are getting dvas correct now similarly as i told you that uh, if we don't write a string in uh, start index here so we can if we simply write it in this way it will also give me the same result as of previous cell because it means that if a string index uh, starting uh, starting index is not there and then python will automatically understand what i'm trying to say is just start from the start of the string so again we will get and similarly if i what i do is now let's say i don't even give the start index i don't also give the stop index i just give the value of step now in this what is happening is it will go from start to end with the step of two so dvas again okay again what we can do is uh, okay now let us see how we can reverse the order is before that what we can do is we can also go for uh, let's say i want to go from 0 to 5 and i want to go in a negative step let's see what happens here now it will give me nothing because it is starting from 0 and it will go in negative because after negative because there is nothing uh, before d right so it will not get anything and that is why it is showing me nothing it is a blank it is a blank here now let's see how can we reverse my name so in the previous let's say I, I have told you that i have given a negative step index but i have started from the zero 
but if i want to reverse my name what i have to do is i'll have to start from the last of my string that is last index of my string and from there i'll have to give the negative step right so it will be uh, reversing the order of my name so this is what i'm doing here is so it i'm starting from the last index of my name uh, i have not given it any anything because then it means that it is going to till the last so there is no stop argument it means it will go till the last uh, whenever the string ends and it is going in the negative order minus one is the step so it will give me d iso because we started from seven where's my name we started from there and there is no stop index so that is why uh, it will go till the end and it is an order of minus one so, so reverse order we can again do it in a similar way what we can do is just replace seven with minus one because seven and minus one are same as i told you seventh index that is last index is also equal to the uh, first index if we start from reverse order so that is why minus one and seven will have the same value here and this is a by default uh, if we want to reverse anything in the string you can just remember just note uh, don't no need to write a store start argument and stop argument at at uh, any cost what you can do is you can just simply write the variable name here you just simply write the variable name skip the start argument skip the stop argument just input the step argument minus one and we'll also get the result here this is the by default and by far the most easiest way to uh, reverse any number or any string so uh, let's see now what happens here is now we have not given the start argument we haven't given the stop argument let's see what happens and we have given the step of minus two now try to understand what is happening here because now if we got if we gave the minus one it started from the end and uh, it is going towards uh, the starting of the string but in this case it is also happening the similar way but it is now uh, reversing the order in the step of minus two so the last letter that is h so last letter h now it will skip s value and then just print n here and then it will skip a and then will print i so this is uh, this is what happening here h and y and similarly i again okay so i have a assignment number fifth for you what you have to do is uh, make computer ask your age okay make computer ask you guys just write a code in which a uh, computer is asking you your age uh, do it using input function as i have told you in the uh, earlier videos and then store it in a value uh, store it in a variable and then with the help of that variable where when your age is where your age is being stored just reverse your age using uh, the string slicing method which i have uh, which i have told you in this video and then print a statement that reverse of my age is or whatever the reverse of your age is will be okay so this is assignment number five and uh, this is a bit tricky uh, but uh, if you if you're able to if you're able to do it by your own self you will get a lot of confidence so just try uh, honestly and tag us on uh, linkedin as well by the name of petroleum from scratch and uh, we'll get back to you we'll get back to your solution that if, if it's correct or if you're not getting the correct output so that is uh, pretty much for this video and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for joining.